Thank you again for joining us. I'm Candace Kelly. And I'm Nick Toma. Well, it has been more than a year now since the governor signed a gambling expansion bill into law that allowed people to bet online as well as in airports and truck stops. And so far, the gamble is paying off in Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Heckel is live at the state capitol with more. Matt? Hey, Candace. Yeah, that gambling expansion bill was signed into law last October as a way to try to help Pennsylvania's finances. And so far, a little more than a year later, it seems like it's working. Gaming expansion was enacted in Pennsylvania last year with the hope that it would increase revenue for the state. I'm happy to say from our perspective, in the end, we were able to do that in a responsible way. And it looks to be paying out big time. The industry tracking website PlayPennsylvania.com saying the expansion has brought in more than $385 million. A number of gaming control board officials can't confirm, though they do say they estimate the number being around $300 million. The state budget office projects gaming expansion will bring in $318 million in the 2018-19 fiscal year, up from $160 million the previous year. The largest component of this is the gaming licenses issued for expansions for iGaming as well as sports wagering. Companies have spent more than $120 million in state-run auctions for the rights to buy many casinos. On Thursday, casinos in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia began test periods for sports betting, joining Hollywood Casino at Penn National in Dauphin County, which opened its sports book last month. An opportunity to uh, attract uh, new gamblers, uh, to some extent uh, younger gamblers. Yeah, and Budget Secretary Randy Albright says that as of now, it does look like Pennsylvania is on pace to reach that $318 million mark this fiscal year. Live at the state capitol in Harrisburg, I'm Matt Heckel, Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.